Yes, Pearl Combat. And first off, you probably have already noticed that the video and audio quality of this video is not the same as it usually is. The reason being is because I'm using Jing screen recording software. And it is overall a great software and it's free. So um, I do have a tutorial on it, so you want to go ahead and check that out if you want to use this software. But um, it's not the point, just going to get to the tutorial. The reason I'm using Jing instead of usual my usual Camtasia Studio is because I'm going to be showing you guys how to get um, the new widescreen feature on YouTube, how to make that work with Camtasia Studio. Now this is aimed more towards the computer tutorial part of YouTube, um, b mainly because I'm using Camtasia Studio and that's what the computer tutorial part of YouTube does. They use Camtasia Studio to record their screen and make tutorials. So that's what we're going to be using today to make widescreen work on YouTube. So I've just gone ahead and recorded a quick five second thing on Camtasia Studio. And I'm just going to click edit my recording and press OK. Now it's going to ask you for the width and the height. You want to change the width to 1280 and the height to 720. And you want to check change the video dimension. Now you can check change the video dimensions and apply smart focus, but that would make your video zoom in on random places, and I've learned that sometimes that could be a bad thing. So I'm just going to click change the video dimensions, and if you want to um, use the zoom in feature, you could apply that on your own. So I'm going to press OK. Now basically all the work here is done. We've sized it to 1280 by 720 pixels, and now it's already in widescreen. But a couple things you guys need to know. First of all, let's say you have an intro, like me. I use an intro for every single video that I do. Now, you don't want to, for example, save this, click Produce Save As, save it, and then open it up in a program like Windows Movie Maker. The reason I was having such trouble with this in the past is because I did everything right. I sized it right and everything. Then I click Produce Video As took it to Windows Movie Maker so I could add my intro and when I did that Windows Movie Maker just messed it up and I made it back to nor the normal uh, type and it wasn't widescreen anymore so don't do that except instead when you if you have an intro just click on import media and import your intro now my intro I've already converted to the the same file size 1280 by 720 so it matches the widescreen now you could do this easily just by using programs like most professional, the ones that you have to pay for, that's what I mean by saying professional. Most professional um, video converter programs also let you choose the size of the of the video when you want when you convert it. That's how I did it. I just chose I have this um, converter over here and I just chose the size like that. But there are a couple other ways to do it. So you wanna just figure out a way to make that 1280 by 720 one way or another. So once you've done that, just click, uh, just import the media, import it there, and just drag it onto your timeline. And then you're going to have your video after that. And then once you're done, just click produce video as. And this is after you've um, put all the zooming and all the, um, anything you want, all the transitions, all that stuff. Once you've done all the editing, you just want to click produce video as and click custom production settings, press next, choose WMV, press next again, um, skip through this part, press next, now the custom size again, it should be 1280 by 720, but if it's not, just put it to 1280 by 720, and press next, if you want to include your own watermark, go ahead and do so now, if not, just press next, and then press next again, name it, I'm just going to name it, a uh, wide screen test and save it to my videos and press finish once you have done that it's going to say rendering project it's going to render it now this is going to render it fairly fast because it's only five seconds long but once it renders it you should be able to upload it to youtube just fine just press upload and just upload your video as you normally would and it should upload just fine i'm just going to go ahead and cancel this real quick don't really want to clog up my computer with random stuff but yeah, that's pretty much it. Very, very simple to do. The main mistake I was doing was using Windows Movie Maker to edit it. So I'm running out of time here, so um, i got to say goodbye. Hope this tutorial helped, and if it did, don't forget to subscribe. So until the next tutorial, I'll see you guys later.